Although academia would like you to believe they possess a detailed, complete history regarding the construction of Easter Island, just like any other seemingly impossible site found around the world, any explanation as to how these supposedly documented events were indeed undertaken remains absent. We recently postulated that much of the ancient ruin that is Easter Island and perhaps the most impressive features still to be found upon the island are more than likely buried beneath past landslides once caused by rapid deforestation. And as predicted, with this realized and archaeological excavations commenced, we soon knew just how deep this ancient sediment actually is, and as such, the controversial discoveries began to surface. Not only are there ancient Moai statues, stretching into the hundreds of tons of weight dotting the island, but how these were moved into position is knowledge lost to the chasm of history. However, although academia would like you to believe that these tasks were completed within the last thousand years, the evidence of a past advanced civilization actually having been responsible is all over the island. After shallow excavations were undertaken around Anahu, one of the many ancient ceremonial platforms, polygonal masonry, uncannily similar to that found within Giza, Peru, Bolivia, and indeed all other as yet unexplained sites around the world, was indeed unearthed. An additional piece of evidence we feel may one day help to eventually unravel the mystery of not only Easter Island, but many other ancient sites around the world, is in its past title. Once known as the Navel of the World, it is interestingly one of many. A number of other ancient sites, thanks to our own more modern ancestors, retain their ancient titles as navels. Were these ancient civilizations somehow able to tap into a mysterious energy grid that can be found crisscrossing our Earth? It is undeniable that many of the most ancient sites found all over the planet can be found located upon purported ancient energy lines. Were these placements a mere coincidence? Were they placed there for another reason? Or were they indeed tapping into an energy field which allowed them to shift such weights. Chipito Chenua is an intriguing artifact that can be found upon the island. With such an extremely well-preserved, untouched history found upon the island, Chipito Chenua is still remembered as an artifact once used by ancient elders, used to summon something called mana, which interestingly translates as earth energy. These elders then inexplicably use this energy to float multi-ton statues across the coastline, placing them in their final resting places. Are all these connections, artifacts, and historical accounts mere coincidence? Or are we truly on to something? Only time will tell. There are many mysteries to be found within ancient Egypt unexplained, seemingly impossible mysteries which litter the caverns, tunnels, flooded underground layers, and indeed the once inaccessible passageways, only recently explored using advanced modern technology. However, some of the most perplexing mysteries lay in plain sight. Not only the Great Pyramids themselves, an obvious enigma for academia to explain the construction of, but many anomalous features which can be found within objects often leaving academics baffled as to an explanation. The Cheops sarcophagus being one such anomaly. Although these pyramids are entered and explored by millions of people every year, and indeed this mysterious sarcophagus shown to many of these inquisitive explorers, what many the funded academic tour guide often leaves absent from their explanation of this supposed tomb is how exactly it arrived at its current location. As we have explored and exposed previously, the casing stones that can be found on many of the pyramids are to us not only indicative of another phase of construction work, once having been undertaken upon these structures, 
But due to the erosion present and the different styles featured, are in fact indicative of more than one attempt to conserve these marvelous structures for future generations. Thus, one must conclude by more than one now extinct advanced civilization. As such, the age of the sarcophagus of Cheops could be immense. So it is not surprising that it has encountered not only grave robbers, but has been vandalized also at points within the distant past. Furthermore, and perhaps most intriguing and frustrating, is that the sarcophagus lid is missing, a lid that could have explained the past contents of this mysterious box. Or like the tomb of Pakal, exposed extremely controversial illustrations of possible past technologies. Unfortunately, however, or rather most conveniently for academics, this lid has never been discovered. Yet what is most perplexing regarding this diorite box, notably one of the hardest workable stones on Earth, is that no one seems to know how the original builders managed to transport the box to its current location, deep within the bowels of Cheops. The diameter of this supposed tomb, being too large to have traveled down any of the known tunnels, which have so far been discovered within the ancient pyramid. This leaves us with two likely possibilities. One, that the diorite box was placed there and the pyramid built around it, which is a mysterious and confusing hypothesis, mostly due to the lack of markings of significance found upon the sarcophagus or indeed the lack of any dedicative markings found anywhere else surrounding it. It is as though the box was placed there without much effort to indicate any importance to its existence. Yet, to cut such a box, which has since been discovered to have been cast from one single block of diorite, would have taken tremendous effort, a feat that modern man would only accomplish with the use of diamond-edged power tools, not to mention the effort that would have been involved in moving this multi-ton stone into its found location. The second hypothesis regarding how this sarcophagus found its way into its current location is that the box itself was transported to its found location through tunnels and passageways we are yet to discover, possibly hinting at the fact that within this great pyramid, there are indeed many more hidden layers and cavities we are yet to explore or discover. Maybe the placement of this seemingly inanimate box was placed there to suggest exactly this. Furthermore, what was on the lid of this supposed sarcophagus? Why is it known as the sarcophagus of Khufu, when Khufu was not discovered within it? In fact, nothing was discovered within it. And why is the lid mysteriously absent? Where did the lid to this sarcophagus go? Why, if destroyed by grave robbers, was it not left where it lay? Did this lid contain controversial information, possibly pertaining to the original contents or indeed purpose of the Great Pyramids? We find the diorite sarcophagus of Khufu, and indeed its unexplainable journey into the center of the pyramid, highly compelling. We have, on many occasions, covered the many astonishing ancient rock-cut structures which can be found virtually all over the world. Megalithic creations, often carved from a single piece of stone or dry build constructed out of impossibly huge stones, and recently, we have touched upon the more impressive stone sites to be found, such as the horseshoe-shaped piece of granite, decided upon by someone or something, as the base rock for what many perceive to be the most impressive artistic wonder on Earth. A structure named after a mountain, we also suspect, has witnessed extreme excavation work in the past, as did the Giza Plateau. Indeed, although little known, acres of solid natural stone were excavated from the Giza Plateau as the foundation bed for the most incredibly elaborate pyramid found anywhere. Who could have accomplished such gargantuan tasks over 3,000 years ago? But I digress. Our topic of this video is a wonderful gem hidden upon our Earth. In fact, the largest and seemingly most impressive of them all. So impressive, in fact, a number of individuals, specialists, 
tasked with the investigation of this astonishing structure and the construction thereof, some for over 12 years of extensive investigation have been resigned to the conclusion alien influences could have only been responsible for the completion of the structure at such an ancient time in our history. Known as the Lost City of Angkor, this due to its extended duration hidden beneath several thousand highly established tree roots. It was once the capital city of the Khmer Empire, which flourished from approximately the 9th to 15th centuries. However, a similar theory can be applied regarding the Khmer Empire's success to the ancient Egyptian civilization's notorious longevity. It is, of course, a possibility that we have covered regarding Giza before, that these ancient cultures partook in probably the earliest form of graffiti, presumably ordered by the current rulers to add their own deity depictions to these already ancient and astonishing structures. It would be a logical decision for a successful leader of an ancient group of people, namely self-declared Hindu monarch Jayavarman II, who also declared himself a universal monarch and a god-king, to make the decision to claim such mastery as their own creation. When visitors entered the area, they would immediately assume that your group had constructed this awe-inspiring temple, undoubtedly intimidating and additionally giving incredible security to your people, as the temple even possessed an impressive moat, an instant advantage over all surrounding tribes. Not hewn from a single rock, but created using no less impressive techniques, undoubtedly requiring the same perfection in artistic ability as Kailash Temple. Five million blank stone blocks were perfectly laid upon one another, slowly forming a template. These stones were then individually and perfectly carved into the astonishing wonder we see before us today. As the blocks were pre-laid, this means whoever the sculptors were had only one chance to get the carvings right, a feat they seemingly accomplished. Who built the lost city of Angkor? Kailash? The pyramids? Baalbek, etc., etc.? The list of utterly perplexing sites grows every day, but thankfully, so does our knowledge.